Hello everybody, Cub Fan here. Just uh, wanted to shoot a video here on a Saturday, show off some pickups and uh, a care package I got, and also uh, to talk about uh, some ideas and some things I got going on right now, kind of in my head, and uh, share it with you guys and see what you guys think. But uh, yeah, I went to the LCS today and uh, picked up, uh, I needed supplies more than anything. I needed a new box and some uh, some new magnetics but uh, picked up a nice little short stack of Sandberg and that's kind of one of the things I wanted to talk about was uh, you know recently not recently but you know the last couple months I kind of feel like I was in a uh, kind of collector funk and what I mean by that is that um, I didn't really have a direction or uh, you know kind of just any gumption I was just buying crap to buy crap you know I'm not saying it was crap, but, you know, I was just buying cards just to buy cards and put them in the boxes, and, and away I went. But, uh, I was, uh, I've been in the uh, Facebook uh, Super Collectors Unite uh, group for a while, um, but recently I finally uh, pulled out my Sandbergs, and I finally did my count, got that submitted, and that kind of just opened my eyes back up to, you know, um, uh, what, how kind of how it all started for me was with my Cubs and mostly, mainly my Sandbergs. And then uh, going to the National, uh, that kind of just reinvigorated me and uh, helped me kind of focus back in on what it is I want to do and uh, some, uh, some of the things I accomplished. So, you know, I watched the, the Double D Sports Talk on the Super Collectors and, um, and man, that was just, that was a really good video. Everything was put to what put together really well. Uh, I'm telling you, Antonio Colazzo, the way he uh, organizes his cards, damn. I he just, you know, doesn't make you feel inadequate, but, you know, kind of makes you a little jelly. You're like, man, I could have went that direction the whole time, and it's just gave me some ideas. So, um, with that being said, let's, uh, let's go ahead and look at some cards. Um, I went to the LCS and uh, picked up some Sandbergs, so I'm, I'm really going to start focusing back in on the Sandbergs. And uh, one of the ideas I had is, uh, well, a couple of them was uh, just get back into buying the base, the singles, and then start looking at some of the parallels that I really need. Uh, as uh, I've went back through and, and saw that, you know, I only have like a few of the OPGs. Uh, only a couple Tiffany's and Glossies and stuff like that, and that's a good place to start to start getting the OPGs, getting the uh, the glossy ones and uh, a lot of the oddball ones, like the stupid sport flicks. I hate these things, but you know, ooh look, it's like more than one player. Oh, it's so cool. Um, but I, I look. Oh, um, but Andy from uh, Nostalgia About Baseball. He kind of jump-started an idea with me, uh, to me, and it kind of snowballed from there, but uh, he sent me a uh, 83 Donruss PSA 9 Sandberg Rookie, and that really got me thinking, you know, why don't I collect all the Sandberg Rookies in a PSA 9 or above, and then at the National, I was able to pick up the tops and then uh, the Fleer, so that kind of got that, and then I started really spitballing and going that maybe I want to get... Not maybe, I'm going to, but I don't know how far I want to go with it, and that's probably where I might need some help from you guys, is that I'm thinking about doing um, a PSA graded uh, 8 or above, whatever, of every Topps card during his playing days, so from 83 all the way up to 97, and with that, just the base, so like in the base, if there's a Topps the base card and then the all-star and then maybe a league leader or something like that then those are the ones I'll get and just get a PSA grade of just the tops because I started looking I was like well I'll just get all of his playing day cards but then it's like there's just it's, it's too much and it's like where does that rabbit hole end and I'm telling you it's a bottomless pit so that's where it ends straight down the bottom so I thought that I'll just get the tops playing days and then get each base. So it's like, you know, like a example, A5 tops, get the A5 tops base and then the uh, uh, all-star card as well too and a PSA 8 or better. But stay away from the OPGs or the glossies or the Tiffany's or anything like that. So 
Uh, just tell me what you think, but I think that's the route I'm going to go. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I want to talk about that. So let's look at some cards. Let me turn you around here. See, there they are. Let me See, this is always a trial and run. It's like, where do you get the best light from? But the, here's a... Also, while I was there, I, I kind of got some tops chrome too so <laughs> yeah I can't help it you know you just it's like a crackhead itch you just gotta scratch it but there's the sport flicks um, that's an 87 sports flicks and it's got uh, Johnny Ray uh, Billy Doran from the Astros and then of course I don't know you can barely there he is but then uh, the Sandberg didn't need that one I mean I needed that one so and then uh, the 97 Pinnacle just a cool looking card. It's got a little bit of surface issue, but quarter bin, can't beat it. And then the, the 92 Fleer. And this one actually uh, kind of embarrassed me because I was like, I went through the binder to just double check and I didn't have this one. And I was like, oh, I like it when you can put the same year together. So it was like uh, the 92 Fleer All Star with the 92 Fleer and then the, the performers. And I. I don't have the 92 Fleer. I have the Performers, I have the All-Star, and now I have the Lumber. But I don't have the Simple Base 92 Fleer. That just kind of embarrassed me, made me chuckle a little bit. It's like, what am I doing? So there's another card that I got to add to the list. And then uh, this is a score. I believe that's 91. Uh, 92 score, Superstars. I always like these little subsets. I think these come in the 100, um, 100 count packs where you buy them all together. And then uh, we got the 91 Woolworth. And then uh, got the 86 OPG, which I was real happy to get. And uh, I always like these OPGs, but they're so condition sensitive. You can see all across that top there how it's just kind of yeah. And then uh, got the Donruss. I'm so on the fence about the new modern stuff because this is a 2018. It's like, I know I still got to have it for the numbers and uh, for the checklist, but it's like, ugh. It's like they keep producing stuff, so it's like it's so hard to keep up with. And then there's an optic version of this, and you know the optic is going to have like 20,000 different parallels. And it's like, do you chase all that? It just becomes a never-ending um, cycle, but you know the chase. That's what's fun about it. So there's the uh, Sandberg pickups, and I was able to pick up seven a day. So I believe that takes my total up to three forty or four forty-seven, which is cool. And then we got the uh, Topps Chrome I picked up today. Um, nothing fantastic, but some cool little things here. Um, I always like to pick up a little bit of chrome. It's nice to have a little bit of shine in your life. There's the Aaron Nola uh, refractor. And then the Aaron Judge 84 tops reprint. And then, of course, the blaster came with the sepia packs. And that had a Justice Sheffield in it. And there's the Kobe Allard in the 84. Um, this was probably the hit of the box. was the Purple Glaber Torres. Uh, rookie Cup, numbered to 299. That was cool to get some color and some numbers. But I did get the Tatis Jr. rookie. Really big on this guy. Taylor Ward. The only reason I'm showing you this is because it's got the yeah the shine. And then uh, also the Bryant. I was happy about that for the Bryant PC. And then Arcia Francisco Pink. And then uh, the Jacob Nix. I think that's the reverse negative. Which is pretty cool and then uh, another Glaber Torres so there it is for the chrome and then also I hate to say that I'm just now getting around to it but um, I got a care package from Mark from Kentucky uh, the day before I left for the national so I didn't open it I've opened it since then and I thought I'd share that with you but he recently purchased a uh, a box of uh, modern day rookies and stuff like that and as he was going through them um, of course that's right up my alley I was like hey I saw you had the David Bodie chrome rookie 
what do you want for that? And he says, man, don't worry about it. I'll just send it to you. And of course, in YouTuber fashion, he sends me a brick of stuff. So there's the note. Jason, thanks for watching my channel. Here are some rookie cards that you might like. So we start out here with the the sleeve stuff, the Hoskins. And what he did is he kind of watched my video of the top five guys that I'm buying right now. And he kind of went off of that, which is really thoughtful of him, which is really cool. Uh, Reese Hoskins, he was on my list. Of course, Austin Meadows. Ozzy Albies, really like that kid. And he's uh, so much more affordable than Acuna. And then uh, the Topps Fire. The uh, Bowman, but the Topps Holiday 2017, which is really cool. And then uh, he sent me some extras, the Cattell Marte. Of course, the Ian Happ, which is, uh, since he's been called up, he's been knocking the cover off the ball. Nice little Ronald Guzman action there. Another Albert Almora, Flaherty, and then a little Clint Fraser fire action. And then he sent me his Mark from Kentucky rookie card atomic bomb brick, <laughs> which I thought was really cool. But he added the update, Albie's rookie, which is really nice, super sharp. And then this was the card I asked about, only card I asked about, was the David Bodie Chrome. really like that kid. There's that one, and then uh, the Albert Almora first Bowman Chrome. Really like these cards. I like, I just, the cards of the guys in their USA uniforms are just so sharp. I just pick them up every time. And then uh, to finish it up was the Fran Mill Reyes. So there it is. Thanks a lot, Mark. I really appreciate it. You didn't have to throw in all those extras, but um, I really appreciate it. And it's just good stuff. So. There it is. There's my ideas of kind of what I'm thinking about and where I'm going with the Sandberg PC. Kind of uh, let me know what you're thinking and what your thoughts are. Am I crazy or am I right on track? So just uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.